Representing Women's Bodies in Modern Society by Imogen Plater. Celebrities create an unrealistic representation of women's bodies and beauty standards in our society. Now that is a very strong statement. Every single celebrity is a poor representation of women in society? That just can't be true. And don't get me wrong, they aren't all perfect, but is anyone? Celebrities are automatically placed with a beaming spotlight surrounding them. However, what they choose to do with that attention and platform is what matters. Most of us have had a phase in our lives where our minds were fixated on that one celeb. Anything they said, you would believe. Anything they did, you did. Why don't you like carrots? They're good for you, my mum would ask. Well, you see, Hannah Montana doesn't like them, so neither do I. Something that looking back at now is utterly insane, but to us during those times, it made complete sense. However, whilst something such as liking carrots can be influenced by celebs, much bigger opinions, views and behaviours can be affected by these household names. Who you accept, your opinions on yourself, on what you can accomplish, what is okay. All of this can be decided by one simple sentence said by these socialites of today's society. And in the growing minds of the new generation of young women, anything that the famous females of the world say can change their lives and decide their futures. I am sure that any girl or woman of the 90s and 2000s, including myself, knows the name of Kate Moss. The supermodel plastered on pages of magazines and young people's walls, all her beauty laid out on the front cover of Cosmo for all to see. Nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. Kate Moss, 2009. A quote that not only then but now bounces round the heads of girls and women, forcibly knocking the feeling of hunger from their brains, trying to remind them to hit the gym for the third time that day. That one quote, made by the heroine-chic icon, could and would have decided the lives of so many, causing them to skip breakfast, pay hundreds for that gym membership, to miss out on that slice of cake on their own birthday. Is this what we like to call a positive representation of women in society? I really hope not. As I would sit there with my stomach grumbling, the pain physically unbearable, giving my stomach a not-so-comforting hug, desperately trying to get rid of the pain. Better than period pains. Haven't had that for months. That's the exchange us young girls are making these days trading our fertility for that flat stomach, the only thing that we are told is perfect and makes us worthy. That Insta picture of Kendall Jenner in the Skims bikini burned into our eyes. We all know the photo that I'm talking about. The perfect balance of curves and tone elegantly laid across her golden tanned body. But none of it was real. The warp tool, the paintbrush and the smoothing option always coming in handy. We double-click to like her post to become the 2,938,020th like and get ready to place a pot of makeup on our face, book the plastic surgeries early and change into our gym clothes. Making my way downstairs just to open the pantry and stare at the cupboard of calories for half an hour. 53 plus 130 plus 47. The automatic calculator in my head tallying up. 230. That's too much. My stomach growls once again, the hunger clawing at my insides, begging me to put some nutrients into my feeble, energy-drained body. Is this idea of perfect beauty what should represent the society of women? Should these socialite women have such a platform to create these never-ending thoughts in other girls' minds? 
women come in all different shapes and sizes. If Aphrodite, the god of beauty, could have stomach rolls, why can't we? The minds of the world have been warped, forced to think there is a rule book on what beauty is. In reality, the best representation of what a woman is, is the amazing things that our bodies can do. This vessel, this home, this instrument that carries our personality is able to make a whole other human, for God's sake. And somehow, all we can care about is if we have bingo wings or a thigh gap, these female body expectations that change every year. We will never be truly good enough for the society that we live in, but that doesn't mean that we can't be good enough for ourselves. So, I'll ask you now, is this what we should call a positive representation of women in society? I really hope so.